What's up, guys? My name's Cody, and this is another UFC My Favorite Bets, this time for UFC 258, Usman vs. Burns. And I did do a full breakdown on this on this card. It's going to be the video before this. This video is just going to be a quick couple-minute video showing you my bets. Um, I like to wait like till right before the fight, just so you can know where my head's at going right into the fights. So don't have a ton of bets on this card, but the ones I have I do like. Um, just going to get right into it. Uh, I do like Usman on this card. Uh, if you're asking me my favorite, like my biggest locks on the card would be Usman, Bilal Muhammad, and Ricky Simone. Bilal Muhammad, though, at this point is all the way up to damn near 5-1. to one. I wouldn't play that. If you took, if you got him at 350, good job. I do think he's probably the safest on this card. He might be even more of a lock, in my opinion, than Usman um, and Ricky Simone. Because if Ricky Simone loses, it's going to either be a big overhand right or a guillotine. Um... So I didn't want to go too heavy on that, but um, I do have Usman parlayed up with, instead of the Bilal Muhammad, I got Usman parlayed up with Fight Goes the Distance for the Bilal Muhammad and Diego Lima fight, um, because Bilal Muhammad is a decision machine. Um, Diego Lima has been knocked out six times, but Bilal doesn't really knock people out. Unless he gets on top of Diego and finishes him TKO with ground and pound, I really don't see the finish happening. He's not really a submission guy either. Um, Diego Lima, pretty good jujitsu, so I'm gonna take Bilal, uh, to win the decision, and I'm gonna, um, take, the, so, and instead of taking it just by decision there, I'm gonna par I parlay it up, the fight goes the distance with Usman, that's one of my, uh, that was the first bet I made, I also have the over 4.5, um, for Usman versus Burns, typically in those scenarios, I would just take fight goes the distance, but, um, they were basically the same line on Bavada when I wanted it, so it was separated by five. One was minus uh, 140, one was minus 135, so just give me the minus 140 um, over 4.5. And next up, I got Ricky Simone, as I said, one of the safer picks on this card, and I parlayed him up with the Gutierrez and Andre Ewell fight goes the distance. That fight, I do feel like will go the distance. Um, Chris Gutierrez and Ewell, neither one of them big finishers. Both of them durable. Um, the path to victory against both of them, especially if you want to finish, is to take them down. And um, I don't see either one of them doing that. I see this fight playing out on the feet. Andre Ewell's range and long straight punches versus Gutierrez uh, at his eight, dis eight inch disadvantage in the reach. He's probably going to want to work those leg kicks. If he doesn't, he's probably just going to get out volume to lose a decision. If he does, I still don't think he finishes Ewell. So give me Fight Goes the Distance. Parlay it up with Ricky Simone. And um, you're getting plus money on that. Um, you're also getting plus money on that um, first parlay with Fight Goes the Distance, Bilal Muhammad, and uh, Usman too. Those are both plus money, two, fight, two leg parlays. And then I got... Um, Alexa Grasso versus Macy Barber goes the distance. Again, two tough girls. I know Macy likes to go a little bit of a bat out of hell, and she most of her fights go um, finish inside the distance. But um, I do think Alexa Grasso's crisper boxing. She's tough. She's never been finished um, by strikes. And, um, yeah, I think this fight's going to play out on the feet as well. Maybe Macy takes her down once or twice but probably not maybe just puts her up against the cl uh, cage and clinches her um so i do think that fight's gonna go to the distance i parlayed it up with gastelum versus heinish goes to the distance as you can see i like a lot of the decisions or a lot of the fights on this card to go to the uh decision gastelum and heinish both two super durable guys um i, I lean gastelum by decision but because you know he hasn't looked great lately now to be fair it's been against the upper level of the division but so I do think Gaslam was going to win the decision. I thought about taking that prop, but instead I'm going to play it a little safer. I got Gaslam parlayed up with um, Ian Heinish. Uh, or I mean, uh, Gaslam versus Ian Heinish to go to the distance. Parlayed up with Alex Grasso versus um, Macy Barber by decision. Or I mean, to go the distance as well. So those are my four plays right now. Um, I'm looking at a couple other plays. Um that I might live, I'll live tweet out if I end up making. Um, <clears throat> but right now, those are my favorite bets. <clears throat> and um, man, honestly, uh, I like them. I mean, I I, I, tr I usually end up with more bets on the on a card than that. But just with those four, I went pretty heavy. And um, yeah, I mean, um, two units for all of those plays. 
and I was even thinking about throwing a little bit more on. Um, I really am confident in those. As you can kind of see these past couple cards, like those first two two cards this year were so just underdog city. Everything that you didn't expect to happen was happening. Um, so I've just been trying to really like pick my shots, stay away from these dangerous parlays when I don't need them. Um, maybe old Cody would have had an Usman Simone Bilal parlay, but I feel like yeah, might get someone shitting that apple pie. So uh, I'm gonna I like my spots here. If I make any more, I'll tweet them out as always. I'm going to be live for the fights on Twitch as always. Um, I might be live with my team because we're about to go have an open mat. Um, yeah, I mean, um, I might be live with them. I might just come back here and do it here. I don't know. It's going to be up to them. But I will be live on Twitch, so come by and hang out. Make sure you like this video. Leave me a comment. Let me know what bets you like, which ones you dislike, what bets you're making, all that good shit. Um, yeah, tweet me. I always respond to the comments, to the tweets, all that good shit. And shit, yeah, hit me up. It's um, been real. It's going to be another good good card. It's not the most fire card, but we got a sick main event. And uh, I'm excited, man. So um, I'll see y'all if you come through and hang out. Otherwise, I'm sure I'll see you for the next video. Peace.